Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, in this video, we are talking about meta point guard builds in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. And to start off the point, small contact dunks look pretty crazy. I mean, I'm showing them in this beginning clip. You don't really see point guards with these dunks. Like, man falls down like a statue right there. Again, another animation. You're going to see he gets knocked over. There's one foot and two foot moving small contact dunks. You need 85 vertical to get it, 86 driving dunk. And the reason you don't see small guards doing these that often is because nobody is making their small point guard with a high driving dunk on NBA 2K22 next gen. Yes, they might get a 65, they might even get as high as a 74 for the silver limitless with the quick drops off one. But why don't you see very many, you know, 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", point guards going crazy with the dunks? And the reason is simple. Everyone makes the meta point guards and the meta point guards don't have high driving dunks, you know? This 5'9", five 5'10", foot five foot the smaller 6'1", six foot, six foot they gotta have max 3-pointer, they gotta have max ball handle, max speed with ball, gotta have the max speed acceleration, and then everyone usually puts up their perimeter defense, their steal a little bit, and that's it, you know, maybe they have enough left over to get up to 65 or 74 driving dunk, like I said, but nobody is spreading the attributes out to get a super high driving dunk, and nobody is denying that that is the best way in NBA 2K22 next gen to make a point guard build, but for me today, I am finally making a small guard in this game, and I'm not making the meta version of the guard. I'm making a six foot two guard with a six nine wingspan. Now, if any comp head saw this video, they would say 88 three pointer, useless point guard build. You need at least a 99. You know, you got to get the mismatch expert hall of fame, the blinders hall of fame, the dead eye hall of fame, every badge that helps you shoot contested over taller defenders. But I would rather have an 88 three-pointer, you know, you can still shoot super consistently with that. Honestly, you can make every single shot if you know the timing of your jump shot. But I'm also going to get a 92 driving dunk with an 85 vertical. That's going to give me the pro contact dunks, the elite contact dunks, and the small contact dunk. Six different contact dunk packages on this build. I'm spreading out my defense. You know, I'm going to have silver clam, silver pickpocket, silver interceptor. And I'm actually going to put some block on my build. The chase down on his bronze and intimidator bronze will help me out a bit. When it comes to the playmaking, of course, I'm going to still make sure I have the quick first step hall of fame. The 90 ball handle and the 70 pass accuracy. Now, you could make the case you absolutely need 85 pass accuracy to get the gold bullet passer. But for me, in park, I do just fine with silver bullet passer. Even in rec, I you just find a silver bullet passer if you're playing comp pro m you probably need the gold but if i do end up playing as a point guard in comp pro m i guess we will find out another thing i did that a lot of people would disagree with is i put driving layup up to an 85 that's to get the steph curry layup package the michael jordan layup package i just wanted to be super acrobatic with this build i put the mid-range up to an 84 to get the gold difficult shots and you see the speed acceleration acceleration is way more important than speed the 90 speed is plenty now that's moving without the ball i don't see myself needing needing to be a on-ball lock with this build or else I would max out the speed if I wanted to do that I would use my glitch 67 or another build now like the title of this video says this is not a meta point guard you know I'm missing out on a lot of hall of fame badges because I went with a higher wingspan to get the 92 driving dunk but I'm playing to my strengths I feel like I'm a better shooter than most people in this game so I don't need a super high you know 99 three-pointer to actually hit three-point shots I feel like I can get myself open just fine and hit with the badges that I'm gonna get I feel like I'm an elite dunker in the game so instead of making a build that everyone's making with a 65 driving dunk where i just do quick drops beating my opponent i wanted to get contact animations with this build and i've talked about this in videos before man make a build that fits your play style you know you don't have to make the same build everyone's making i feel like that's a lot of the reason people get bored of the game is they play how they think they're supposed to play how the comp players play but they don't do things that they want to do you know i'm somebody that loves getting contact dunks if i made a guard that couldn't get any contact contact dunks I would probably get bored of it I'm gonna be honest I want to get some poster animations and I truly believe that I will win more with this point guard than I would making a meta point guard you see the takeovers you get shock rating sharp playmaking and slashing all the offensive takeovers in the game I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun with that I'll probably run ankle breaking shots and one of the slashing takeovers most of the time you see with the finishing badges limitless takeoff posterizer slithery and then I got badges like fearless finisher and acrobat I'm gonna throw on as well I'm definitely gonna test out things like giant slayer and especially teardropper on this build you see i can even get putback boss on hall of fame that would be nuts if i can get some of those animations with the shooting badges it's kind of tough 29 is definitely not enough to have everything you want but if you have extra badges i would definitely recommend to put it on shooting and playmaking hot zone hunter sniper hall of fame you know blinders 
Deadeye, they are important badges. Circus 3s is something that I would run. Same thing with difficult shots. We all know how overpowered something like Mismatch Expert is, and Volume Shooter is another great badge. If I'm playing the 1v1 core or 2v2, I'm definitely running Lucky 7 on Hall of Fame as well. One of my favorite badges in the game. When it comes to the playmaking, I think having all the badges like Tight Handle, Space Creator, Angle Breaker on would be amazing, but you're not going to be able to run all of them with all the other playmaking badges you're going to need. Quick Chain is super important on Pluckable. Quick First Step, Dimer, Bailout, Bullet Passer if you're playing 2s, 3s, 5s. It makes it easier to save badge points if you're only playing the 1v1s and you don't have to worry about badges that help your teammates. But other things, like I said, Hyper Drive, maybe you don't need it on Gold, but you definitely want it on Bronze or Silver. Downhill Hall of Fame could be absolutely nuts if you're playing Wreck. Nobody will catch you on the Fast Break. And when it comes to the defensive badges, 14 is the perfect amount, I feel. You can get Clamps, Interceptor, Pickpocket, Menace, Hustler, Chase Down Artist, Intimidator, Tireless Defender. The longer wingspan on this build is actually going to help it play pretty okay defense compared to the normal small guards you're used to seeing. That won't have block up at all. Let me know what you guys think of the build, man. Let me know if you guys made any new unique builds yourself. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.